Hello guys and welcome back to another uh, cryptocurrency news update and Bitcoin news update as well as well as XRP news updates for you. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please do consider subscribing for daily uh, crypto news updates and crypto price prediction and analysis. And uh, yeah, let's get straight into today's story. Now in its Thursday note that it, it puts out every Thursday which was actually covered by Business Insider. Well, JP Morgan actually stated that Bitcoin's declining volatility is going to actually spur stronger institutional adoption. Now, of course, uh, the volatility on Bitcoin keeps reducing day by day and uh, a professional investor will actually feel more comfortable about holding the cryptocurrency as part of their portfolios now that its price action is less mercurial. Of course, banking giant JP Morgan also estimated uh, that Bitcoin could actually reach 130,000 US dollars for one single Bitcoin in the long term if it were to match the total private sector investment of gold. Those were JP Morgan estimates 130,000 US dollars for one single Bitcoin in the long term. And in their own words, JP Morgan said mechanically, the Bitcoin price would have to rise to 130,000 US dollars to match the total private sector investment in gold. And of course, the bank sees big upside for Bitcoin if it continues to crowd out the yellow metal, uh, gold, of course, and uh, but of course, it could also take several years before there are a convergence in volatilities between the two assets. Now, Bitcoin is up 102% year to date, while gold is down 9%. So you can see uh, the profitability when it comes to Bitcoin compared to gold right now. And uh, yeah, uh, Bitcoin is actually killing every other sector that you all know. So yeah, let me know what you think about uh, JP Morgan's uh, estimation of Bitcoin in the comment section. I would really love to hear that now. Moving on to another story, um, cryptocurrency exchange uh, Coinbase is actually set to go public in two weeks, according to a Bloomberg report. And of course, its shares will start trading on the Nasdaq exchange around April 14. And of course, the largest US exchange was initially supposed to have its direct listing in March. But of course, then it was postponed to April and April is here. And we expect that to happen in the early weeks of April. Of course, Coinbase's valuation is also expected to reach as high as 100 billion US dollars, which would also make it the biggest public debut for a tech company since social media giant Facebook. And uh, also, as we reported, uh, the company also disclosed its direct listing prospectus back in late February. So, yeah, that is what is going on concerning um, uh, Coinbase. And uh, looking at Polkadot, well, um, uh, Polkadot has power, uh, the Polkadot powered decentralized finance project, Akala, has actually received funding from Coinbase Ventures, which is an investment arm of America's largest cryptocurrency exchange. And uh, according, this is according to an April 1st medium blog post. Of course, April 1st is Fool's Day. It's April Fool's Day, but uh, yeah, that is what uh, the news came. Those, that is the day the news came out. And of course, last August, if you remember, Asala actually raised 7 million US dollars during its Series A funding round. And Akala, which actually made its debut in January 2020, is offering a complete suit of DeFi products, which includes a multi collateral decentralized uh, stablecoin and an automated market maker, a staking tool, as well as an on chain sovereign wealth fund. Now, also, the project also has its own governance token called Akala Network Token. And as we also reported, Akala rolled out an Ethereum virtual machine uh, this February, which made it intolerable which token, with tokens issued on the second largest blockchain. And of course, in March, the project won the very first parachain slot on Polkadot's Rococo testnet. This is after outbidding other contenders during an auction process. Now, in other news, also Coinbase Ventures has also invested in Karura, which is a DeFi hub on Polkadot's sibling blockchain, Kusama. 
and uh, this is a when this was actually inspired by fire breathing birds from japanese mythology and of course akala is also aiming to win the very first slot for karura on the kusama network and kusama and polkadot operate as two separate blockchains even though they may converge from time to time now uh, something i should also tell you is that kusama is more attractive to experimental projects compared to polkadot so that is something that i thought you should also know so yeah thank you very much for watching this video let me know what you think about this in the comment section but uh, yeah that is what uh, the news came those that is the day the news came out and of course last august if you remember asala actually raised seven million us dollars during its series a funding round and akala which actually made its debut in january 2020 is offering a complete suit of DeFi products which includes a multi-collateral decentralized uh, stablecoin and an automated market maker a staking tool as well as an on-chain sovereign wealth fund now also the project also has its own governance token called akala network token and as we also reported akala rolled out an ethereum a virtual machine uh, this february which made it intolerable which token with tokens issued on the second largest blockchain and of course in march the project won the very first parachain slot on polkadot's rococo testnet this is after outbidding other contenders during an auction process now in other news also coinbase ventures has also invested in karura which is a DeFi hub on polkadot's sibling blockchain kasukusama and uh, this is a when this was actually inspired by fire breathing birds from japanese mythology and of course akala is also aiming to win the very first slot for karura on the kusama network and kusama and polkadot operate as two separate blockchains even though they may converge from time to time now uh, something i should also tell you is that kusama is more attractive to experimental projects compared to polkadot so that is something that i thought you should also know so yeah thank you very much for watching this video let me know what you think about this in the comment section and until the next update bye, -bye.